My name is Mr. Sandesh Pare. I am currently working as an assistant professor uh, in the Department of Computer Science and uh, Engineering at uh, Walchan Institute of Technology, uh, Solapur. Okay. So, in this video, we are going to focus on how to accept the user input okay, in the Python. Okay. So, before going to start this discussion session okay, on this uh, user inputs, uh, let us see. see okay what is the output or the what is the outcome of this session okay uh, after this session okay you will be uh, capable to accept the input from the user okay through the terminal so let's start the session What happens that uh, there is some inbuilt method which is provided to accept the user input. Until now, what we have done is that whatever the inputs, okay, we have to give uh, that we have given by in the program only, okay. But uh, this makes our program very limited, okay. So this should not be happened. So it should be uh, re robust, okay. So uh, user expects that uh, it should ac uh, accept the input from him okay and uh, it should uh, work according to its inputs okay so for that here in the python the special method input is given here okay and uh, through that we can accept the user input okay so let's start to implement this one okay what we have to do is that we have to write uh, input function there okay and uh, actually uh, it is not mandatory to pass any arguments to this function one okay but what happens that when we execute this file, okay, at the time uh, it will accept the uh, user input and it is expecting the input from the user one, okay. But uh, user is not aware about that one, right. So user will uh, wait until any message uh, convert to him and uh, program will wait until any user input is provided, okay. So this confusion may get created. So for that it is uh, for our convenience and the for user convenience it is uh, recommended to provide a certain message there okay in the input function and that is passed as the parameter to this function one okay so suppose let's say we are going to uh, perform here addition of two numbers and uh, these numbers are accepted from the user here okay so what you have to pass here that uh, enter a first number okay so this message is uh, displayed on the screen and uh, Hence, user will came to know that system is expecting uh, input from the user one. Okay, so this is the general style to write the input function. Okay, this is uh, accepting the only first number. Okay, but for the addition, we need two numbers there. Okay, and uh, for that, again for the second number, the same pattern will be repeated. Enter. Uh, second number right and uh, obviously we are going to perform this addition of two numbers and uh, for that we have to store it somewhere right so for that what I will do is that I will use the two variables that is x is equal to input okay a first number and uh, y is equal to input the second number right and after that uh, we have to print the addition of these two numbers so for that I will write here print x plus y right so this is the general uh, syntax to accept the user input okay so we will execute this file and uh, we will check okay whether uh, it is working correctly or not we will hope so it will work okay let's uh, save this file and let's execute this one okay so at the bottom line you can see it is accepting the uh, expecting the first number okay so I will pass the 5 here okay and it is expecting the second number now so I will pass the 7 here okay and uh, at the end you can see here that the output is 57 okay so this will happen okay so why it is happen because it is 
accepting the input in the string format okay it is the default data type which is of the user input okay and it is just concatenating that both the strings there okay it is not accepting the user input in the integer fashion okay so by default the value of, uh, the data type is the string data type of the user input okay so for this problem what we have to do is that we have to make a changes in this program okay so we have to convert it into the integer format okay so by default it is accepting into the string format so for that here i will implement the type casting technique okay so for this i will write integer of this input right so it will automatically convert this into the integer format and after that uh, again in the second value also okay so i will implement the time casting okay so now the both are converted into the integer format and we will hope okay it will work now properly okay so for this i will execute once again and uh, run module okay it is again asking for the first number and again we will provide the same numbers okay so i will pass the 5 as the first number and i will pass the 7 as the second number okay and as you can see in the output that uh, out 12 is the correct result we have get okay so this will happen when you are using the input function okay so it will take the user input in the string format by default okay if you want to change it then you have to manually type cast it okay so let's move to the here okay so there is one question for you guys okay what is the default data type in which python accept the input from the user and uh, what are the different techniques okay which is used to resolve this issue okay so think and uh, try to answer this so uh, string is the default data type as we seen earlier that uh, in which python accept the user input okay if you want to change it then there are techniques which are called as the type casting okay that we have seen earlier and uh, second one is also the indexing term okay the using indexing also you can change it okay so we will check its demo okay then you will came to know better so what i will do is that i will remove all this stuff from here okay just a second right uh, as we know the character input is not introduced in the python okay so we will try to implement that one okay what i will do is that i will use this one variable which accept the character okay and uh, for that i will accept the user input as a character okay so what i will do i will write here input just a second and uh, here i am expecting the character input so i will pass the message as the interact character right and uh, after that what i will do is that uh, i will print as it is okay no any uh, complex code is there okay i will write simply print ch okay and uh, i will save this file first and i will execute later okay save and uh, executed okay so it is asking for the character as per our estimation and uh, i will pass now i will pass the one string there okay i will pass the pqr there okay i will not pass the character so let's check what is the output so the output is pqr so it is not expected guys okay why because we are accepting the character okay so if string is passed then an then it is working properly it should not be happen like that okay so propaganda is compromised here so for that the second technique as we have seen earlier that uh, we have to implement this to resolve that issue okay so for that what we will do is that instead of printing the whole ch okay we will accept only the first character okay whether st user pass the string then only uh, we will pass only the first character okay i will uh, we'll ignore all the rest part there okay for that uh, we can write here the you, you can do is the indexing term and uh, you can do it likewise okay so for this i will again run this file and uh, as you can see it is accepting the character but uh, we will pass the string here again okay so i will pass the pqr and uh, you can see the output is only the first character okay so likewise in this fashion using the indexing term you can resolve this issue okay 
but uh, i just want to tell you one more thing that uh, instead of uh, writing here uh, ch of 0 at uh, printing statement okay what is the problem in that one is that uh, you use the indexing at time of the printing but ch is still storing the whole string here okay so it should not be happen we will accept only the first character okay we will store the only the first character okay so for that what i will do is that i will remove the indexing from here and i will use the indexing at the input only okay so whatever input we have accepted and at that time only we will accept the only first letter okay so now obviously a ch will contain only the character and we will print the ch okay so it should not be changed the output okay so let's check what is the output and it is again asking for the character i will pass the string again now it say the value of the ch is the p okay it means you are st uh, uh, you are reducing the storage here okay i know it is negligible but it's okay okay so in this fashion you can use the type casting and uh, indexing technique to change the default data type okay which is the string data type by defaultly okay so this is it regarding the user inputs okay so these are some references i used to make this video thank you